Hey everyone, Tofu here, and welcome back to more Banjo-Tooie. Last time we did some more stuff in Grunty Industries. We got this cable room junk taken care of with all the barrels and whatnot. We did a couple other stuff. We saw Mumbo and uh, got some stuff done here on floor four. And now we're going to continue uh, on floor four because there is pretty much just one more thing for us to do here. At least for now. I wanted to get clockwork eggs there, but I ended up getting ice eggs. Oh well, that's that's fine. Uh, so now we actually want to go up this this way. I meant to, well, I meant to go the other way before, but I actually accidentally went up here last time, and that camera angle was stuck there for a bit. That was weird. Uh, but this is actually the time that I want to go over here now because now we have both Banjo and Kazooie, and that is exactly what we want to go into the sewer access. So after we claw clamber our way up there. We're gonna go into the sewer and have some fun. Probably. It's another ble bleagal. Bregal blaster section. So that should tell you uh, this is gonna be lots of fun. Uh, we're gonna use uh, pretty much just blue eggs in here. Just because the egg uh, the egg type doesn't really matter. I just kinda wanna fill up on clockworks though. Because uh, we were uh, not at full, and I wanna be at full. Uh, so this is gonna be kind of a uh, a shooting thing as you can tell because it is the first person shooting shooting thing uh but last time we really had a proper section like this we were using the beak bayonet but here we're gonna actually be shooting so we have to shoot the clinkers in clinkers cavern which is a nice little nod to clankers cavern from the first game though instead of clanker being a, a giant shark now we have the clinkers who are just shit. They're literally they're literally just shit. I don't I don't know why they call them clinkers. They're they're shit. Uh, so we've got quite a lot of these guys to shoot on this, and I do have a route here that I have memorized, but it's still quite possible that I will miss one because there's quite a lot to keep track of in here. So I will do my best. Uh, so going through this area here, we want to go to the right, I guess the right from coming out of it but left once you're turned around go up here and there will be one in this long narrow hallway here to angle up there to actually get that guy don't get hit by that guy even though we don't actually need to worry about killing them uh we could go up there but i'm not going to uh, i instead just want to go this way right now and up here there will be a guy right on the wall there there's also a guy down there see if i can get that from here we're gonna have to shoot through that guy first. There we go, got that guy. Okay. So now, uh, we're gonna go down here really quickly. We're just gonna shoot this guy in the wall there. And then we're gonna go back up and then go this way. We do have some security guys uh, here, but I don't, th I don't think they're really gonna target you too much as long as you don't go near them, so just avoid them. Get those two guys in here, and then we're going to be on our merry way down this way. Here we've got another guy on the wall over there and over here as well. I don't think there's anything down there. Just look. No, it looks pretty clear to me. Okay, so we'll go through this area here. Hit this guy before he causes any damage to us. Shoot that guy across the wall there. And now let's go down here. Get that guy out of the way. Shoot that guy there. Uh, which way do I want to go? I think this way... I don't know if that's right. Okay, yeah, this is where I want to go first. Uh, got some guys in this little back room here. Uh, I think there's another one over here. Get that guy. Okay, very nice, very nice. Now, I don't think I... Do I want to go in here right now? Yes. Yes, 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 I do. Because there's one guy in there. We got three left. We got 40 seconds. Uh, I think we want to go back through this room now. Back in here. And now... Go up here. On this little ramp area. Because there's one here. Got two left, and I believe they are all in the same room. Or both in the same room. It will make a bit more sense if I say it like that. Uh, that's where we came from. Okay, no, no, no. We want to, uh... I'm gonna drop back down. And go in this room over here. This little bluer... Oh, I guess it's not actually blue in here, but I thought it was. Nope. Uh, but there are the last two guys in there. And, of course, we're gonna get a bonus for that, which is a Jiggy. Uh, if you run out of time in there, 
you won't just instantly lose. Uh, it's going to be kind of like the toxic gas chamber where it's just kind of... Your health is just going to kind of slowly deplete uh, and then you'll run out of air and die. Uh, so you will technically still have a bit more time to actually do it. But uh, of course, we actually do have to get out of here. Uh, so uh, I don't I don't know if that will stop the the your health from draining if you actually clear it during that time. But it's best to just try to do it within time limit. Ow. Give me that health, please. OK. But it's not that. Uh, I don't think that. I don't think that area is as confusing as the uh, ordnance storage from Glitter Gulch Mine, where we dealt with the TNT. But it still can be a pretty tedious your first time. Uh, so I, I, I definitely remember that took me quite a few attempts trying to get that down right because I just kept getting lost and kept missing a bunch of clinkers when I uh, just kept kind of like forgetting which ones I had gotten already. But. Thankfully, uh, once you know the little route there, it's not that big of a problem. So that's actually all we got to do now on floor four. Let's go ahead and get down. And now, we're actually going to go back to... Well, if I can find the doorway. We're going to go back to floor one. Because that is pretty much the easiest way to get back outside. And there's some stuff to do outside right now. So... We're gonna go outside. We're gonna go outside and touch grass, even though I don't think there's actually a whole lot of grass outside of Grunty Industries, and if there is, it's probably dead, because uh, it's not the most pleasant environment, uh, as you can tell by all of the toxic gas that's everywhere. Uh, also, why is... I just kind of realized, like, why is the sewer on the fourth floor? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Uh, so, anyways, I think we actually want to go to Kazooie right now, uh, because Kazooie can actually fly, and we can fly together with Banjo, but there is, uh, some stuff we actually do want Kazooie by herself for right now. Uh, so, let's get those Claw Clamber boots and go outside, because I believe we will need them, uh, off to the right here as we exit. There should be a little trail for her to climb up. Let's go over here very quickly get up here because the timing is pretty short there we go and there is our triple cleft for the area so that is exactly what we needed and because we can just easily go right over here to this flight pad and let's just start flying around uh, and I want to shoot the grenade egg ow shoot the grenade egg at the windows because there are some windows that we can actually go into. Uh, get out of first person here so I can actually properly get in there. Let's go in here. And there's not much in here, but there is. Da 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 da! Game load! It's a Cheeto page. That's all we came in here for, it's just a Cheeto page. Let's get out of here. Uh, but there's some more windows for us to shoot, so we're gonna do go ahead and, and shoot the windows. So! Let's fly some more. Uh, there's only a couple more windows, actually, for us to get. Uh, though this one is actually... Jeez. Do not actually fly. Ow. Don't fly right into the window, because then we will shoot ourselves again as we try to shoot the window. There we go. Let's get in there. And don't land. Don't land on top of the roof. Go into the window. Go into the window! Oh my god. Yeah, the camera's not great out here. But we'll go in here. And this is going to be a bit of a cheeky uh, thing here. So this, of course, will take us inside of floor one. There's a jiggy up there. And there is uh, a little security thing right there, but no camera to actually... Uh, at least, I don't, I, at least I don't think there's a camera. Uh, so, basically what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to, like, fly over there uh, with a future move, though you can technically get over there now uh, to actually spawn the security robot guys, but what you can actually just do is just shoot a clockwork over there, and that will uh, spawn the guys because they'll detect you there as the clockwork. Uh, but you can just run into those guys as the clockwork Kazooie and just blow them up. Though you can also just shoot them with grenade eggs from a distance, which I think is much easier. 
Again, you can only shoot them when they are open, so... Uh, nope, that locked onto the wrong guy there. Let's try and get that guy. There we go. Open up. Nope, did not get him in time. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. You butt. Okay, I think there's... Yeah, there's another guy over there. These guys are called Tin Tops, by the way. That's their official name. I forgot that. I just remember that this Jiggy... Like, I guess some of them have titles. I think it was actually, like, in the Xbox release that they gave them titles. But I don't remember that for sure or not. But this Jiggy is called Defeating the Tin Tops. Oh my god. Just barely got that one in time before he went into his little hiding state. Oh my god. I hate the reticle in this game. Please just shoot... Why did that go up there? I know I had the homing cheat on, but it was way close to the other guy. But there we go. Yeah, there they just say, defeated the Tin Tops. So, uh, now, uh, we can just kind of fly over there right now by using Wing Whack and Feathery Flap together. We are technically supposed to use a, a later move, but we don't really need it. Uh, so now, well, there's some eggs over here, so I'll go ahead and get another Clockwork, preferably. There we go. Uh, so now we can go ahead and meet back up with Banjo. Uh, we could just fall and die, and then we'll just immediately spawn right back at him. But, eh, he's like right over here. So I just kind of have to not take any damage. Did not take any damage. Uh, let's go snooze pack with Banjo here before we actually join back up, so that way we have a bit more health together. There we go. And now we want to go outside and fly together because, well, it's just time to do stuff together because everything's better with a friend. So let's go be friends and fly together. Uh, so, let's ooh, get to the flight pad with the two of them. I'm just going to take a bit of damage as we go through this little swamp because it's really not that bad and it's much faster. But let's climb up here and get this flight pad. Now, there's one other window that I want to uh, fly into quickly. And it should be, yep, right there. Go ahead and get that. There we go. Now let's go inside here. And this will have another little, uh, I don't really know what you'd call it, a panel, I guess. Uh, basically, some more stuff for us to unscrew. Uh, because there is more stuff to unscrew. And it'll probably show us here. Yep. Uh, so this, if the cutscene will load, is unscrewing a little container box thing on floor one. Uh, and this will basically drop a platform for us to actually more conveniently get to that uh, skivvy there that needs its clothes washed. Uh, which doesn't mean much to us as Banjo and Kazooie, because we can just jump over there. But we will eventually take the form of something who cannot jump so well, so... We will need this platform there to actually get over there to that skivvy. And let's get that down there. Boom. Okay. So. If the game will load back to us, I will be very happy. Because that is all we really need to do with those windows right now. So. Uh, now we're just going to fly all the way up to the roof. Because. There's of course stuff on the roof. Why would there not be stuff on the roof? Uh, so, let's go ahead and go all the way, all the way to the top, because we want to go into these little chimney stacks, I guess, though only one of them actually has something in it. Get that honeycomb. I did not really want to land, but, oh well. Uh, let's just go up here, and we have these little, these little roof warehouse type area things, I guess, uh, and... Well, I think we can just ground pound this, actually. Yeah, we can. It's kind of reminiscent of the the windows in Rusty Bucket Bay in the first game, because there was another, like, slanted roof-type thing like that that had a window on it that you had to break and get into. Uh, so that's a cool little throwback, I guess. Um, in here... I don't think this is where I actually want to be right now. There is a Jinjo down there that we could technically get, but I don't think there's really a good way to get back up here. Well, there might be, actually, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is not the room I wanted to go into. We will go in there later at some point. When it is more convenient for us, because that is what I like to do. Uh, I think we where we actually want to go 
Is it over here? I think this is the one. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't get back up there, can I? Gosh dang it. Do I really have to fly to get back up there? That would be really annoying. I think I actually might have to fly back up there. Oh, well. Well, at least we got the warp pad. Let me just go back up here quick. I feel like there is definitely a, another way to get up here. Is there, like, a bounce pad over here? There must be something, right? Yeah, there is. Okay. That felt really weird, but... I'll take just flying up here. It's fine. Anyways, let's actually break this window. I think we can stand on that. Without Talon Trot, but... Let's go in here, and this should be the room that I was thinking of. Uh, yes. There is a Jiggy all the way over there. But it is a bit difficult for us to actually reach over there. I know it looks like there's a window over there that we could fall through, but... It's actually not. Like, this, there's only a couple that you can actually break open. So we just want to go ahead and shoot a Clockwork Kazooie over there. Get that Jiggy. And we'll blow up and die. Because we don't, we don't really need that uh, at all. So we're just going to get out of here. Uh, so let's go skedaddle. And now that's pretty much all we actually needed to do on the roof right now. So uh, we're going to go ahead and fly again. But this time, we're going to go to this chimney stack, because there is actually something over here. Uh, let's back up a bit so I don't shoot myself against the wall. That would be bad. Okay, I flew a little too farther, farther than I needed to, but that's fine. Uh, let's go up here, shoot a grenade at this thing, and we'll go inside. And this will take us back to the boiler plant. We can now get this Jinjo that was on top of here, though I don't think I actually showed that day that he was there. But maybe you saw him or heard him when we came in here before. But that is actually all we needed to do there. And now... Uh... Actually, you know what? This might be like the only time it's convenient to really... To really use the elevator. So... I guess I'll go ahead and do that, because we want to go back down to floor one. And, uh... Well, the warp pad wasn't that far away, but that was just cool, so I wanted to do that. Uh, now, I'm going to go to the workers' quarters. I don't think I really had a reason to not do this right now, but we're going to go back to the workers' quarters uh, soon anyway, so I guess I just figure we just do them both now. So let's go down to the workers' quarters. And this room is annoying because I'm pretty sure... Well, maybe they don't. There, are, There is a security thing here. And since they're, like, right in the entrance, they spawn, like, right away. Uh, where's actually the... Where's the camera? Oh, there it is. There it is, I see you. Got him. Uh, that's still gonna spawn pretty, uh, pretty quickly here. Or respawn pretty quickly. We can blow open that bathroom door. We cannot blow open this one, though. Uh, okay, I didn't get it. Uh, there's, like, a rare chance that you can, like, see a light coming from that door, and there's, like, a bunny in there that's just taking a nasty shit. Uh, also, we've got Lago the Toilet in here. It was in Mad Monster Mansion in the first game. And, uh, so... It's cool to see him back, uh, but before we actually help him, I want to talk to him again one more time because there's a nice line of dialogue here. He's all blocked up, help. Then call a plumber. I think Mario's free at the moment. I don't think he actually does that kind of work anymore. No, but he just did in the movie! It came out, like, a couple months ago by the time this video comes out. Anyways, we have to plunge... Oh, it didn't work? I don't think I was standing in the right spot. There we go. We have to plunge Lago. Is that how you use that... That, that verb, is plunge a word in context of using, like, a plunger? You have to use Kazooie as a plunger, I guess, and, uh, get that paper out of Lago, which is a Cheeto page. So yeah, that's all Lago is really here for. Uh, <laughs> it's nice to see you again, uh, buddy. Oh god, yep, yep, here they come. Uh, that's all we really need to do in here, though. There's a little, some little side rooms in here. Um, and there's also, oh god, 
There's also a skivvy in here that we'll need, we'll need to clean their clothes, but we cannot do so right now. Also, there's a picture of Wumba in here, and also Mumbo wallpaper, which is kind of weird, but you can actually break this picture and go into this secret room, uh, which is kind of neat, but doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Just fill up on clockworks really quick and see what this sign says. Try looking here for the filthy workers. Okay, so this just tells you where all of the, uh, the skivvies are in case you cannot find them. Which I don't think is that necessary of a hint because they're not that hard to find. Um, like, I feel like they're, of all the complex things uh, in this game, or in this level at least, there's, uh, like, the skivvies are not that confusing. I got a bunch of stickers on this fridge, which are some nice little references, of course. But, we'll come back here a bit later to actually clean that guy's clothes for now. Uh, I think we're actually going to go to Wumba's and get that transformation finally, because it has been quite a while since we first actually saw her, and then... Well, we didn't actually see her, but we saw her place, so... We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and go to Wumba's. And, well, actually, do I want to do that now? I don't actually think I want to do this right now. No, I do not. Hello, Kazooie. That was a... That was a jump scare of your front-facing face. Uh, I think we actually want to go to Mumbo's first. I could be... I could be mistaken about this, but I feel like... I don't think there's any reason to not do this right now. I think it'll just be super convenient. Uh... So, I want to go talk to Mumbo again. I think this is the I think this is the first time we've had to go back to Mumbo, because we've obviously used Mumbo for multiple things before, but uh, we've never really had to do that in like multiple sessions, I guess. Before we've all we've always been able to do everything with Mumbo in one fell swoop, but now we actually have to do it in multiple, which is not the last time we'll be doing that. Uh, so. What we want to do with Mumbo is bring him to floor two. And this is one of the reasons that we want to open up this little shortcut here. We will actually finally use now because now Mumbo can very easily get to where he needs to go. Actually, I don't even think he can get here on his own. Because you have to do like a bunch of climbing to actually get to this area. Which I don't think Mumbo can really do. Uh, so you want to bring him to the magnet chamber. Because you may recall that there was a Mumbo pad in here that he needed to use. So, we will uh, bring him up here, up the steps, and over to the pad. And he is, of course, going to do some EMP again, oh, this time on the electromagnet, which will cause the magnet to malfunction. And why did we need to do that? Uh, well, basically, without spoiling what it is, even though you probably already know what it is, uh, the transformation in this world is what we need to actually press that button down with enough force. Uh, however, if we bring it in here, that magnet will cause it to be pulled towards it. Uh, so we need the magnet to be malfunctioning, so it does not do that. Uh, it's kind of an arbitrary, an arbitrary problem that they created themselves. But I don't know, this is what we gotta do. So, we need to very quickly go back to Mumbo's, and then go back to Wumba's, so we can actually transform. Uh, we of course have to go back to Mumbo's first because we need to get Banjo and Kazooie because Mumbo cannot transform. Uh, it's just not something he is allowed to do. Even though he has transformed other people plenty of times, he is not allowed to transform himself, I guess, because that is the laws of the universe. So they actually give you plenty of time here, so uh, I'm not too worried at all about running out of time. I wonder if maybe if you did this first, then you did all the other stuff on floor four with like the the crushers, but I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of a lot to keep track of because um, I feel like they give you way more time here. So I don't know because like what if you what if you did that first, then you went to floor four and activated that, then you would have to go back to Banjo Kazooie, turn off the wall, then go back, and then come back here to Wumba's and then go to the switch. I don't know. Cause like then you would have like two overlapping timers. I don't know if the game would actually let you do that. But I don't know. Uh, I'll find out another day. 
Though again, I feel like I've tried that before, because I just try a lot of things with this game in my many, many playthroughs of it, but I can't remember what, I, what it actually does. Anyways, you finally transformed into the washing machine, which was a joke transformation in the first game. But now it's real, and you can really use it, uh, and it's actually very, very useful. It's probably, like, my favorite transformation in the game. Uh, even outside of the fact that it's a nice little callback, um, it's just kind of funny, and it's pretty useful, too. Um, there's actually quite a lot we have to do with it, which can't be said about some of the other transformations in the game. Like, especially coming off of the T-Rex in the last level, which was pretty disappointing, and there was not a lot to do with it at all. The washing machine actually has quite a lot going for it, um, so that's very cool. But we gotta hit that button right there. And this will open a door in the basement, which we have not gone to yet, but there's been a door to it on floor one the whole time that I just have not gone into yet because there's nothing really we can do in there right now. Uh, so, let's get out of here before that magnet turns back on. And... Now that we are a washing machine, we can wash some clothes. So, we're going to go ahead and do that and wash some Skivvy's clothes. Also, yeah, it was good to have that open for the washing machine to get through. Because, like Mumbo, the washing machine cannot climb. Uh, so, washing machine can swim through toxic waste, though, I guess. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, to go ahead and go down here. I don't think... Well, the washing machine can sh shoot the camera because the washing machine can uh, can shoot underwear yeah it doesn't go very far though it kind of goes at a bit of an arc see if I can I don't think it goes far enough and even if it does hit the guy I don't know if it'll actually destroy it I think you might need a grenade egg for that oh my god the game like lagged there as I did that but yeah underwear is effective against cameras in case you wanted to know so we opened up this little passage here before, and we wanted to do that so the washing machine can actually get through here. Because there's a skivvy here, so we need to wash his clothes. And all we gotta do that is just, we just gotta talk to the guys, and we'll just do it automatically. There's not like a special move or anything to do with it. Uh, so just kind of, ow. That's fine though. Uh, ow. Yeah, we're not invincible like the money van was. We can't just run into things. The underwear is, uh, not the best attack, but, uh, oh god. Let's see if I can actually get that honeycomb without getting hit by this guy, which is, does not seem very doable. We got two honeycombs there, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, alright, so, let's go out here, and I want to actually go back down this little passage here that we took before, because there is a skivvy outside that needs their clothes washed. And, uh, well, this is the only way to actually get the washing machine outside, uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, because, like, the outside area of Grunty Industries is actually, like, split into two halves because, like, the sides of the building kind of stretch all the way out. So this is, like, the back of the building, and this is the only way to really get the washing machine out here. So, I'm gonna go all the way to the back of the level here. We have this guy who is, I guess, hiding out here. I don't know what, what they're doing out here, but they're outside for some reason. So we're gonna wash their clothes. And there we go. And uh, yeah, I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. Uh, I thought maybe we could finish up the world today, but there's definitely still quite a lot for us to do. So we'll save that for next time. Uh, so let me actually get back to uh, I don't know. I guess in here is is fine. So, next time on Banjo-Tooie, we are almost certainly going to be finishing this world. There's not a ton left for us to do at all. So, that is what we will be doing. I will see you then. Goodbye.